Today we're going to talk about my media denture and my wax try-in. I've been getting a lot of questions this past week about your wax try-in. Do you get a, a, a wax try-in with your immediate denture? Uh, you guys, I've been getting a lot of questions and I was sent a link to a video, an actual live stream that was put out where the person was arguing with somebody in the chat about their wax try-in with their immediate denture. People are scared to death now. They have sent me messages that they're like, well, we were told that they don't do a wax try-in with a, an immediate denture, that it, it has to be my permanent denture. And now they're afraid that they're gonna get their permanent denture because they were told the wax try-in is only for a permanent denture. Okay, just you guys, okay. This is my immediate denture. I was given a wax try-in with my immediate denture. I'm gonna put some pictures in, I have some video also. So when, when my dentures were being made, these, the, the set, my, this is my very first set of immediate dentures, call them temporary dentures, whatever you want. But this is it. The wax try-in, I did. The, the dentist took impressions of my mouth all over. He sent those impressions to the lab. The lab then knocked off all the teeth because I had my teeth still. This is before my extractions. He, and he sent back a wax try-in, which here, there it is again, my wax try-in. I was able to look at the two shade. I was able to look at the two shape. I even was able to put this in my mouth over top of my teeth just to see what it looked like. My dentist said, do whatever you want with it. You know, f with my wax try-in, feel comfortable with it because the, I'm telling you, the first time that you see your full set of teeth is weird. It's just weird. All right, so what do you think? I was happy with those. Well, there were some things that I would have changed. I locked my car. Some, thing, some things I would have changed, but she said, don't waste your time this time because those look good enough. They're decent enough. And when I get my original set, that's when they go through... She said it's gonna be a lot of measuring and more bite plates and more, just a lot more, a lot more involved. So I'm gonna go with that shade because I thought, you know what, I think I want them just a shade whiter. And I think I do. We'll see on that. But she said, don't, don't pay the extra because there's an extra cost to get the bleach white. She said, don't, don't pay the extra bleach white cost on your temporary teeth. So I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna go with this shade and see what I like. And if I want it whiter, that's fine. Now, the eye teeth are just a little longer, if you noticed. I'm gonna leave them like that for now. If I don't like them, we're gonna change them. But they're, they're natural looking. And they're not, I don't think they're as long as my teeth are. That's what I said, I told her, I said, are the teeth big enough? That was the wax. Those were just all wax, that was so cool. It, it was weird because now it's like, it feels like the, t are the I said, one of my questions to him is, are these teeth too small? Are they, are they too small? And he's like, no, they're not. They're, they're perfect. You know, it's a perfect size. My, um, my teeth, before I had them extracted, my gums were so receded. My teeth looked very, very long to me, which I then found out after I had my teeth pulled out that it was like, oh. I get it. I get it now. These are a good size. I'll put these in for you. Hold on. Because they're huge. They're huge on me right now. And I have my teeth pulled out June 2021. All right. So my gums over the past couple of years have really, really, really shrunk. In fact, I can put my permanent denture. It, it just goes right down inside of there, you know. And this is my denture box denture. And it's actually thicker thicker than this one i could see through this one i can't see through this one so even my even my bottom denture that's my immediate denture which i broke and fixed it i have a video on that i actually dropped this and broke it and i was able to fix it i'll link that video because it's kind of interesting watching but these go right down inside so here, here's my immediate dentures. I'm putting them in my mouth. Won't be able to talk. I just won't be able to talk. But I was able to 
look at my wax dry in and do everything I wanted to do with it. If I wanted to change something, the dentist, hold on, I can't talk. Mm. If I wanted to change something with that wax try in and make it a little different, I could have. If I wanted to change like the two shade, I could have. I could have done anything I wanted at that stage. It was not my permanent denture. I did not get my permanent denture then. That, that wax try in had nothing to do with my permanent denture. It had to do with my immediate dentures, you know? So, would you have a wax try in with your immediate denture, even if you have your teeth in? Yeah, absolutely. I did it. I, I, I did it. Had nothing to do with my permanent denture. So here's the thing. Don't believe everything you hear on the internet, okay? And if something just sounds, if you're watching somebody and it just sounds too good to be true or just sounds weird, or odd or something, stop watching them. Stop watching them because I'm going to be honest with you, okay? There's a channel out there that just says whatever they want whenever they feel like it and then doesn't even remember half the things they say and then they say something else. Example, when GumGuard came out with their product and I was trying it, I made a video. I made a video on my gum guard. It, and I really like my gum guard. I really, really like my gum guard. Well, this other channel got a few questions about the, the gum guard. And they said, just go to the drugstore and just buy any gum guard and just use that. That's what I use. Well, first of all, they're made for people with teeth. So don't do that because you'll burn yourself. And I have a video doing that. I burned myself trying to, it just doesn't work because it's so little. And the gum guard has the putty that you mix and it forms around your... So anyway, about a week later, more videos were being made or some live streams or whatever. They told the people, oh, I got mine from my dentist. Wait a minute. But you said a week ago you got it from the drugstore and now you get it from the dentist. I don't, I'm, I'm not understanding here. Well, which is it? Well, which is it? You know, and it seems like I'm just going to be flat out honest here. It seems like every time I make a video, there's another video made discrediting, trying to discredit what I say. It, it, it's happening. I made a video on DentureFit and I said in the video, go watch the, um, my favorite denture wearer. He really has some good videos on, um, how to, uh, how to put in that DentureFit. He has some great videos there. And the very next day, I was sent a link from this channel. This channel, somebody sent me the link and said, look at what they said. In the very first beginning of the video, they went on to talk about, oh, denture channels they don't watch. And one of them is that one, my favorite denture wearer. He's boring. He's monotone. He's just, I mean, like, come on. You know, I make a video on... Um, um, this, hold on, I really, I really, really, oh, oh, I make a video on, oh, and what happens a week or two later, the same channel that I'm talking about makes a video, or the live stream, because they do a lot of live streams, saying that oh, it's full of alcohol. There's no alcohol in this at all. There, there's zero alcohol in this. She told people, don't use it, it'll ruin your denture. Don't, don't, and everybody I know that have, has tried this, oh, they love the soap. So I ended up getting a hold of the brand and I'm like, what do you want to do? You know, and then we ran a sale on the soap. Secure, full of alcohol. It is not, it doesn't have any alcohol in it. I checked the FDA. I could go on. Um, Benzodent, Benzodent. I, I recommend the Benzodent. There's videos being made, and the person even says, I don't know who you guys are watching. You're just watching the wrong channel. Benzodent has a black box label from the FDA, and it'll kill you. And I went to my pharmacy because I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm double-checking myself. And I'm like, was I wrong? No, I wasn't wrong. <laughs> I went to the pharmacy, and it's like, it, it has no black box warning. I even called the company and ask them and talk to them about it and and then you know no that is not true there's so many things now that are coming out that i mean i could just go on that just aren't true i mean i made a video because people were concerned because they were hearing that you'll break your jaw if you eat without your dentures and i'm like oh my gosh 
Are you kidding me? Who would say that? Who? I know who would say that. It's not true. I mean, it's like people are coming to me now saying, is this true? Is this true? Is this true? No, 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 no. A lot of it isn't. So take it for a grain of salt. I got my immediate dentures. I had a wax try-in. I had all the things. I could go on and on and on about things that behind the scenes that I know that just would blow your mind. Okay. This coming year, I have teamed with a couple brands, dentists, and we are going to do our absolute best to get great, good information out there. Dr. B is going to be launching something very, very soon. I'm excited about that. I've been a part of that. So he's going to be launching something very, very soon that is going to help the denture community so much. So, so much. And we know that that is needed right now more than anything. Because there's more and more and more denture wearers out there that need information. And they need good information. And they need correct information. And they need just to be told the right things, not not just something fly by the seat of your pants, make a video, and it's, I'm going to say this, 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 and this, and this, and then, and then I get bombarded with questions. <laughs> That's what's happening. That is what's happening. So anyway, I will see you in my next video. This was more of a frustration of a video I'm making here now because it's like, I'm, I'm, I, I get a lot of questions. I get a lot of questions from things that I hear that are just, what? You just have to scratch your head and say, what? What? Okay. <coughs> I'm joking. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.